Studio is red hot. Studio is red hot. Studio is R-E-T, red H-O-T, red hot. Education Today starts now! Welcome to Education Today. I'm Jay Clancsmith, a senior TV production student from Ford City High School. Last year we started working on some different ideas for programming here at Education Today. One of those being student council updates. The idea was to bring you, the viewers at home, a more detailed glimpse into what is taking place in our schools and what is being planned for future events. Tonight is part two of a two-part episode featuring student council representatives from our four district high schools. Tonight we will talk with members from Ellerton and Ford City High Schools. Last week we heard from Gatanning and West Shemokin, student. We will start with our representatives from Ellerton High School tonight. Welcome to Education Today. Thank you. Thanks. Could you please introduce yourselves for the viewers? My name is Stephanie Leitner. I'm a senior at Ellerton and I'm the student council president. I'm Tiffany Smetana. I'm also a senior and I'm the student council secretary. And I'm Jenna Schreckengost, and I'm also a senior and the vice president of STUCO. Well, pleased to meet all you girls. And how long have you been involved in student council? Could you start, Mr. Mrs. President? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my second year in student council. Five years for me. Second. Wow, you got a long time, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are the challenges you face as representing representatives for your school? Um, I don't see many challenges because everyone seems to participate in like what our ideas are, so not too many challenges. Not too much fighting? No. Not very much. <laughs> A lot of Allerton pride, right? Yeah. yeah. That's good, that's good. Hmm. What is your favorite part about serving? For me, I like the feeling that I have whenever I give back to the community and the school, so I feel like I'm making a difference. I'm kind of a controlling person, so <laughs> I like being in charge of things and thinking of ideas for everyone else to participate in. What about you? Yeah, I like the control and the support for EHS my senior year, so. Oh, well, that's good. It's important. Yeah. Is working in this type of, of capacity something you look to maybe do as a career? Possibly. I don't really know what I want to do yet. No? So, yeah. we'll see what happens. <laughs> Same for me. I'd like to be a teacher, so that'd be me being in charge of other people, so. <laughs> You like being in charge, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, and I want to go into the medical field, so, you know. I mean, that helps, taking charge with what you need to do there. Yeah. Could each of you tell us something, some of the events happening in your school, maybe some things that have already happened, are happening now, are being planned for the future? For things that have happened, we had orientation on the first day of school for our seventh grade students. And that went very well. They were a little bit confused at first, and they couldn't figure out combination locks, but <laughs> they figured it out. Uh, we had open house about a month ago, and that was a huge success. There were lots of parents there, and also we've been fundraising a lot. Wow, that sounds like a lot of good things. Yeah. Everyone's participating? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what's most important. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you would like to add for the benefit of our viewers out there? Well, um, we're coming up on our conference at Seneca Valley and our student council members, there's about 16 or 17, and we're going to be going down and participating with other student council members from other schools and, you know, doing activities like that. And we participate a lot and um, volunteer to uh, raise money for Make-A-Wish. And one we're planning right now is called a reindeer run, which we're going to have everyone walk around or run in every lap. Um, people will contribute money for every lap, you know, how they do that, and we'll donate all that to make a wish. That sounds like a really nice idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to take a short break and talk to members from Ford City High School. We'll be right back with more of Armstrong School District's Education Today. Before I came to IUP, I had no idea what college would be like or what role I would play or where I'd be in the future. But when I came to IUP, everything changed. I met people who really made me feel like I belonged. I had great classes at a great nationally ranked university. 
Hi, my name is Megan Miller. I'm a fine arts major and this is my university. We're back with Armstrong School District's Education Today. Today we are talking to members from our high school student councils. We just spoke with Elderton. Next we welcome representatives from Ford City High School. Welcome to Education Today. Well, thanks for having us. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Could you ple please introduce yourselves to our viewers? Hi, my name is Kevin Valisek. I'm a senior at Fort City High School, and I'm a representative of Senior High Stucco. I'm Alex Klingensmith. I'm a senior at Fort City High School and the president of Senior High Student Council. I'm Joe Sipple. I'm a junior and representative of Ford City Student Council. Welcome. Yeah. How long have you been involved in student council? This is my first year actually in Duco. Um, this is my second year. This is also my first year. Kevin, you're a senior. What made you decide to join student council this year? Uh, just I wanted to be more involved with decisions that uh, affected the uh, senior high class and uh, the whole entire senior class. Um, so I thought that by joining Stuco, I could voice my opinion and have some uh, good ideas. What are the challenges that you face as representatives for your school? A problem is getting the time to have the meetings because you know most kids who are in Stuco are also in other clubs and activities and sports. So just getting everyone at the meeting sometimes is a challenge. I can I can um, agree with that because I'm. I'm also involved in a lot of clubs at school, and it's really hard to meet with NHS and Leo Club and things like that. Cooperation is also a, a can be a challenge. You need to get everyone on the same page, all focused on the same objective. So that is difficult. What is your favorite part about serving in student council? Um, I think that not only serving in student council and getting the benefits from serving, it's also uh, just the benefit of seeing everybody together and working together as a group and uh, not just the members of student council but everybody in the school themselves. Uh, it's, it's great seeing everyone work together. Yeah, being a part of a group um, is something I enjoy. Um, also having a say in different decisions that have an impact on like I said, the entire senior high. <laughs> is working in this type of capacity something you look to do maybe as a career? Um, I'm thinking about going to school for computer programming and it's a very independent, uh, you know, course to take. So after I exit uh, college, I might start up my own firm. So being a leader is a quality that I would have to have if I were to hire people underneath me. So. Uh, being a leader of student council is a great way to, you know, engage that. Like Alex said, I want the leadership skills in Stuco are going to help me with my career. I plan to get a school for surgery. Oh, wow. I'd also like to go in the medical field, so uh, decision making is a big part of uh, medicine and being able to react quickly and make good decisions. Could each of you tell us about some of the events happening in your school? Like maybe some things that have already happened or happening and are being planned for the future? Uh, well, uh, about a month ago we had open house and we had a decent turnout and all the uh, Stuco members helped uh, show the parents uh, where the classrooms were and helped them along and had answered any questions that they had. We also have uh, a dance-a-thon which, Alex, you can explain a little more about. Um, we had this uh, dance-a-thon last year. Uh, we're actually planning on having another one this year. We raised money. We took donations in from uh, across the community. And uh, we ended up raising around over $1,200 to uh, donate to a city in Africa. Um, the, the event was actually a great success. And uh, that's why we're planning on doing it again, because hopefully we can have the same turnout, and it will make everything run smoothly. And uh, it was just a great success in, uh, all, all around. Just recently, we had homecoming. And at Stuka, we wanted to get more involved with it, get more graduates to come back to Fort City. So before the game, we had a tailgate, a tent, buses to and from the school. It was a, it was a good event. 
I hear you guys do a blood drive too? Yes, we do do a blood drive. And uh, you get um, members from the school and in Stuco to come and uh, give blood for uh, people who are in need. <laughs> um, along with that, we have members, the, the blood drive is an open blood drive, so not only people that are going to school can come to it, but people from around the community can come in and donate blood as part of the blood drive. It was at the blood drive last year whenever I decided that I wanted to do Stuco this year. So the blood drive also could bring in members, you could say. Inspiring. Is there anything else you would like to add for the benefit of, of our viewers? Um, coming up, uh, I think next week, we're having a uh, district, co our district conference. So everybody from um, our district of student council uh, we're going to meet up and work together, but for that we are um, preparing a, a shoebox, kind of like a care package thing, um, where we put toys inside this shoebox and we're going to give it to kids in need uh, around the country. Okay, we are out of time for today. Our thanks go out to the student council representatives from Elderton and Ford City High School, as well as their advisors who took time out of their schedules to be with us here today. Our thanks also go out to the TV production students of Ford City High School, led by their teacher, Mrs. Barb Keller. They were our film crew today. Please join us again next week for another look at the Armstrong School District. DVD copies of this and all Education Today programming can be requested by contacting Chris Garitano, multimedia technician at Catanning Junior High School. Visit our website for updated information about the district and have a great week. chapter test coming up on confidence. So remember that if you have a linking curve, you can't have any kind of an object. You can't have a direct object or an indirect object. Remember also that indirect objects are kind of rare. And if you do have one, it will come always between the actual curve and the direct object. Mike, Mike, wake up. You're going to be visited by three ghosts. The SSA past, present, and future better listen. Hey, how was that out? Gary. Oh, you got it. Hello. Anna? Seriously, guys, what the heck? What's going on here? What's going on? What's happening? Is that fog necessary? Back, you vile demon! Vile demon? That's like a little harsh. I mean, I'm wearing white. Okay, so I'm the ghost of PSSA past. I'm a little new to this, but um, I'm supposed to show you how you cared about the PSSAs in the past. I never cared about the PSSAs. <laughs> yes, you did. 
Uh, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You no, said I didn't. It. You said infinity. And to prove it to you, I'm gonna show you. Like what? Go like go into the past? Come on! You're gonna love this. The past, the past. I'm gonna go to the past. Come on! Those are my jeans. Get... Those aren't cool shoes. Wow, that look... where did I buy those? Oh, am, I, am I picking up a pencil? Am I... I'm right... I'm writing? Am I doing work? I never did that. No. What's with the new, uh... No, I'm a completely different person. No, like, didn't you just, like, go and change... No, no. I'm the ghost of PSSA present, so... But maybe, you know, you recognize this wildcat, seeing as how it's, you know, your school mascot. What's wrong with it? It looks sick. Well, of course he looks sick. He has PPP. What's PPP? Procrastination for the PSSA pox. It's terminal. Well, unless, of course, you study hard and prepare for the PSSAs. Wait... So is this my fault? Of course it's your fault. You're the biggest slacker in school. What did you think? Wildcat, I didn't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll make it better, I promise. <laughs> Why? Cat's grave? So by not taking the PSSA seriously, we're not only hurting our schools, we're hurting ourselves as well? Oh, I can breathe! And, and Mike, you finally got it! Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And there's still time! There's still time! There's still time! It was just a dream. It's not too late! It's not too late! It's not too late! You guys can excel at the PSSA too! Miss Linkus, I'm so glad I found you! Help me! Help me! What, what can I do to excel in the PSSA? Well, Mike, I'm really glad you asked. There's a couple things you have to do, and all you have to remember to do is be ready. Rest. Get a good night's sleep the night before the test. Make sure you eat. Eat well and eat a healthy, nutritious breakfast. Attitude. Make sure you have a great attitude. Remember, you can do it. Make sure you dress comfortably. Make sure you're wearing clothes that when you wear for a while taking the test, you feel comfortable and relaxed in. And remember, why for the ready? You can do it, Mike. Okay, so rest, eat, have a good attitude, dress comfortably, and I can do it. Absolutely. And to help you get ready, here's two great PSSA pencils for you to use so you can do it and you can be ready for the test. That's great! Now I'm ready to go take the PSSA! 